the most predictable thing on any IB physics exam is the first few questions on paper three, which are always going to be these data analysis questions. And because it is predictable, it's really your best opportunity to prepare and do well. So what I want to do in this video is go over those common types of questions, those common themes that keep coming up in the data analysis questions, so you'll be well prepared for those, and those will be easy marks for you. The data analysis question, or perhaps questions, it can be up to the first three questions on paper three. Common themes, the themes that we're going to explore in this video, the meaning of error bars, how to draw the error bars, using the error bars to propagate uncertainty, how to draw lines of best fit, proportional relationships between variables, working with the units, particularly on graphs and with slopes, and using fundamental SI units, and then linearized graphs and how we fit data with a linearized graph, the slopes of those linearized graphs and the meaning of those slopes, and then the uncertainty in the slope and the y-intercept. There's also some questions that involve just plain physical reasoning and kind of testing your experimental gumption. We'll go over a few of those. And then the importance of using percent uncertainty, how we need to use percent uncertainty when we're doing comparisons. Often what the IB does is to give you a graph that is clearly a straight line equation. And of course, there's going to be some sort of y variable and some x variable. And of course, if this is a straight line, our y variable must be equal to the slope of the graph times the x variable, whatever that may be, plus the y-intercept. But this y variable here, it might be some quantity cubed or the square root of some quantity. Let's say that it was the square of a frequency. And let's say the x variable down here was the cube of some length. Then our equation in terms of the experimental variables would be that f squared, the y variable, would equal the slope of the graph times the x variable plus the y-intercept. So what we've got here is an equation to fit the data. And typically what we want to do, or what we're asked to do, is to compare this experimental equation to a theoretical equation. You're asked to say, verify that this experimental data agrees with the equation f equals pi times l to the 3 halves. So right now they don't look alike, but if we were to square both sides of this equation, we'd get that f squared equals pi squared times l cubed. So what we'd like to now do is, when we calculate our slope of this graph, we want to compare it to pi squared, because we have the same form of the equations here. So we ask ourselves, does the slope equal pi squared? Are they within experimental uncertainty of each other? And the other thing we can ask is, our experimental y-intercept, which I'll assume is this here, how does it compare to the zero that it's supposed to be from this theoretical equation? So we'd also like to ask, does the y-intercept equal zero? Is it within experimental uncertainty of zero? And that's how we verify this theoretical equation with our experimental data by seeing, basically, if the two are within experimental uncertainty of each other. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.